any of the new cards have real got you cooking. Um, we'll do a little mini review, maybe in like the next heartbreaking loss that I get that completely breaks my spirit, which could very well be this game. Um, <laughs> we will do a mini review. How's that sound? All right, let's do it. We're gonna review neutrals. Um, so we have four scores, chat. We have one, two, three, four, because that makes sense. Uh, four, the card is basically like a, a nerf target. It's like broken. It's the thing that pushes an archetype over the top. It's like, it's like a passage. It's like a, I don't know, like a spread the word. All right, that's a four star. Three star is like a good card. Like a damn good card that could see play. Harmonic mood. Yeah, yeah, harmonic mood. There we go. A dark bomb. Yeah, sure. Um, a, a two-star card is like something that's fringe playable and wild. You know, like that little one-two in Reno Priest. Maybe it sees play. Maybe if it has the right home, the right support. One star, no play. Arena card, go back to standard. Go to jail. Do not pass go. Don't even think you're coming near my Hearthstone deck. Miracle Salesman. Get a tradable snake oil. Tradable. Deal zero damage. This seems useless. Who can relate? Zero mana free spell. Doesn't lose hand space. So like if you're playing like a hand mage type shit. Death rattle. Undertaker support. Yo. I mean it's a zero mana card that you just play and then you have a tick on your quest completion in quest mage. That seems kind of interesting. It also scales with spell damage. It's one mana 2-2 with minor upside. I mean, for a while though, that's like not good enough. <laughs> so I'll give it a 2 star. Rating for wild or standard? Oh, wild, but like, I don't know, kind of both. <laughs> as shitty as it is, like kind of both. Like, I know it doesn't make any sense. Alright, next up. We got a spicy little one drop. Uh, tram mechanic, death rattle, get a barrel of sludge, toxic waste, handle with care. Okay, I like the flavor a lot. Um, another nutty Undertaker card. Whoa. Um, the barrel of sludge. When this is played, this card destroyed, deal three damage to the lowest health enemy. So this would have been nutty in like Disco Warlock. In the, um, the Cataclysm version. Good in like Sif Mage. Where would I play it in Wild? Nowhere? Would I play as Nowhere? I might play as Nowhere. I think I'll give it a two. I, this isn't going to be a situation where I'm like two-starring every card. <laughs> We're going to be quite brutal here. I think it's a two though. Like, it's fine. I, like, for a while, it's probably closer to a one. But I'm kind of interested in it in standard. I'll give it a two. Got a two from the audience. Uh, Bunny Stomp it. your beasts have rush. Uh, so it's kind of like some cute shit that you can do with like Elwyn, Boar, and Sonya. Because like the idea would be Sonya, Elwyn, Boar, this. Boar, zero mana. Is that what you do? Is there, uh, isn't there like a neutral that does that? Death Rattle support card? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like a three mana card that says your Death Rattles cost one less. Yeah, 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 that's one. The Trapper. Man, I've been waiting for that card to be broken at some point. That, that card's gonna enable something. Would I play this in Beast Hunter? I'm gonna, uh, gonna give it a one. But it might enable something degenerate. Chad also gave it a one. All right, next up. A Cactus Rager. I mean, do we have to? <laughs> Can we just go next? Do I wait? Do I even wait for chat? <laughs> oh my god, the fours have it! You know what? I'll vote four as well to make you guys look dumb. Did I say that out loud? Uh, man, the fours are smashing it. A perfect four star from over 80% of the audience. All right, next up, Dry Scale Deputy. Uh, two, two, two. The next time you draw a spell, get a copy of it. Is there any, like, super cute synergies that you can do? Vindicator? I don't know what to think of it. There has to be something, right? Like, Shadow Step and Shark. There might be ways to get, like, five copies of a spell. Like, I'm sure there has to be some shit somewhere. But there might not be. <laughs> it might just be a situation where it's, like, a card that looks like it might break something down the road. But for now, it just doesn't actually do that much. I'm gonna give it a one. Yeah. I'm actually, I'm gonna give it a one. What, what was the poll? I, I didn't see the poll. Poll said two. Yeah, I think that's fair. All right, moving on. Uh, Gold Panner, at the end of your turn, draw a card. Um, it's, it, the, the card is just tap last. <laughs> that would have been good flavor text. So, personally, um, I think it's unplayable. <laughs> I think this is an unplayable Hearthstone card. 
Could this see play in Reno Priest in Wild? Is this ever a Reno Priest card? It's a one. <laughs> Alright, moving on. Hey there, partner. Uh, two mana, two, three. Battle cry. If you're holding another two cost card, get a coin. Mm. I think this is a card that is probably more broken and wild than it is in standard. You could play this in potentially quite a lot of stuff. Coins are good. <laughs> like, would I ever play this in something like, I don't know. Questline Demon Hunter, for example, or like the Even decks. Not Even Shaman, but like Even Death Knight. I would 100% play this in Even Death Knight. Of course, saying everything but Mage. I'm ignoring the Mage because everyone knows Mage. Like, I'm thinking of, I'm thinking like outside Mage. We all know it's going in Quest Mage. <laughs> we all know it's going in Mage. It's fine. But like, even, even Death Knight would love this, right? Being able to like coin out a power spike turn earlier. I don't know. I think it's a three. I think it's a three in wild. What did, what did uh, chat rate it? I missed that. It was 46% threes. Okay, chat on a three. It's also assuming even Death Knight is above T5. I, I don't stress too much about the exact current tiering of decks. Because as long as you're like remotely close to playable, there's always a chance you can skyrocket up, right? Like it doesn't take much. It takes like one new good card. And all of a sudden the tier three wild deck is a tier one wild deck. Now, when I say good, I mean broken, but you know, <laughs> that happens. Um, all right, moving on. Howdy, Finn. Two mana, two, three. Whenever your hand has less than three cards in it, get a random Murloc. Yo. Is it actually better than Angler? I mean, depends how empty your hand is, right? As long as you can go to less than three. Would you run this in Aggro Druid? Cute Lock. Would you play this in Cute Lock? I mean, the problem is with Cute Lock is the expired hand of Gul'dans. I don't know. I'll give it a two. Like, I think it's interesting. Pretty broken. Maybe in some situations like if, if uh if super low curve murloc shaman is good all right kobold miner we haven't seen all of the excavate cards but i'm gonna give it a one for wild what does excavate do so battle for battle cry excavated treasure so you excavate you get a common and then you excavate again and you get a rare and it's just random it's not discover and then you excavate a third time you get an epic now, some classes, the non-Highlander classes, when they excavate a fourth time, they get a Legendary. Like, Death Knight gets the Azerite Rat. 4 mana, 5-5, five, five, Battle Cry, resurrect your highest cost minion, give it plus 2, plus 2, reborn, and lifesteal. So, there'll be, a, there'll be, like, a Legendary for each of the Excavate classes. <laughs> what was that location? Ogre Fist Boulder! So, yeah, the Excavate cards are kind of cracked in half, but for Wild specifically, I'm assuming that they're just completely unplayable. So I'll give it a 1 as well. Chad also gave it a 1. Saloon Brewmaster. I swear to god, if I have to bonk any of you in chat, if I have to do it, you're all gonna have to go to church. Battle Cry, return a friendly minion to your hand. Give it plus 2, plus 2. 1? Smile? Alright, 1. Is chat gonna rate it a 1 as well? Oh, wait, chat's... Ooh, chat's interested in stuff. I mean, they're, they're giving it a 4. Two's coming out at the very last second, winning by one vote over ones. And then 28% of my chat are absolute degenerates who need to uh, touch grass and God, who um, gave her a perfect four. May God have mercy on you all. All right, moving on. Uh, two matter one, two stealth poisonous after your opponent plays a minion, attack it. <laughs> Wait, that's actually so funny with Jailer. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Is that a real thing? Hang on. In like, Reno Paladin specifically? Cause like, I think Reno Paladin is actually like a real Jailer deck. Because of the, uh, the Noz. Um, I'm very tempted to give this a 2. But... It's a 1, I think? Whelp Wrangler! At the end of your turn, get a 1-2 Whelp with Taunt. The Whelp is a happy Whelp. Um, it's a cute little 1-1-2 one, one, Dragon. Oh! Why doesn't this summon the one two whelp, you know? Then we'd be we'd be talking. It's kind of a cute card. I'd actually like to play this in Twist. You can play it in Hambuff Paladin, you can play it in Dragon Priest. 70% of chat said a one. Siva accidentally voted a three. He was one of two people because he thought they got summoned. Oh, it's get not summoned. JJJ also tricked. <laughs> but I will also give it a one. It's like a very strong arena card. 
would be an almost interesting twist card. But current wild and standard. I'm sorry, Wrangler. You're just not it. Bounty board. All right. Three mana, zero, five. Your excavate, quick draw, tradable, and legendary cards cost one less. So, what if I told you there was an infinite combo with this? What's quick draw? It's the new mechanic. You um have to play a, the card, the turn it enters your hand, and you get like a benefit. It's like you top deck a card or you discover it, you get like a payoff. So, you get to go like... Um, like scabs, bounty board, uh, 10 with the scabs, scabs, Zola, the Tenwu, and then you bounce the Tenwus infinitely. And then at the very end, you Tenwu the Zola, and then you Zola the scabs, and then you play the scabs, and then you play like a, I don't know, like an Edwin. <laughs> or like a Draka. So it does have infinite potential assuming hypothetically if there was no um uh, you know problems with animation time <clears throat> but does it actually matter chat says no <laughs> 50 percent of chat said one this card is gonna break something in wild because they don't bounce with this format and check stuff um there's gonna be a fuck up it's gonna be like a snip snap right like this could have been the snip snap card it could have been, they, they could have accidentally made like, I don't know, like holy mackerel, holy, holy macky roll. Like this could have easily just accidentally been able to go to zero because they probably just forgot this existed. <laughs> Actually, I guess it's Voyage. Okay, they remembered. This card's going to do something stupid. I'm going to give it a two because it probably won't do anything, but I'm going to give it a two because like when it does something... It's going to be like some degen turn 4 OTK that has to get a card snap banned. And that's worth at least a 2. The potential is just too high. Uh, chat voted at a 1. That's fair. I think it's going to break the format eventually. Um, Alright. Eroded Sediment. Battlecry, if you played an elemental last turn, discover an elemental from the past. Whoa! Nutty! Damn! Three mana, four, three with upside? You get premium stats and a card? Yo! Did anyone buy that? I guarantee if you play this, you're going to find cards that you didn't even know existed. Onezo. <laughs> Onezo from the chat. <laughs> Onezo's from me. This has been Medieval and Twist. That is so real. Flint Firearm. Uh, battle cry, get a random quick draw card. I mean, we don't know what the quick draw cards are, but I mean, that's never stopped us from raiding stuff before, has it? Nazmati Priest card? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Nazmati Priest card. I mean, depending on what the actual quick draw cards are, maybe that's not even wrong. I'm only half joking. Yeah, like, I'm considering what you're saying. Like, I, I, I think it just depends. Like, there is a world if the quick draw cards match up really well. Then I could say it. I mean, I'm still going to give it a 1. Because... That's money. <laughs> 5 for the art. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 5 for the art. Alright, 58% of chat. Gave it a 1. Fair. Fair game. Gaslight. Gatekeep. No, dude. They missed. The bat... No! The flavor text is supposed to be... And ghoul boss. Because she's an undead. No, dude. They fucked up. Where was the ghoul boss pun? Oh, terrible. They're not a ghoul, though. I don't know. Then change the art. <laughs> Make it, do it all for the flavor text. Incredible name. Incredible. I, I love it so much. It's so good. I'm just worried about whatever I see. Ogre's next message. This might be the most down bad I've ever seen um, the the card rating community. I will say that much. So we have a, nine people in chat giving it four stars. Ten people in chat giving it four stars. But the two stars have it. Okay. All right, uh, Rain Man, thank you for the song quest. Okay, so for the people that gave it four stars, y y okay, be honest. Was it, was it because of the art? Was it because of the art, the card name, or because of the effect? Because I'm, I'm interested to see if anyone actually voted at four stars because they, they think that it has potential. 
or if they just think that you know she's great so in terms of uh ability i i'm gonna give it a one is it a shuffle rogue angle it's only questy h i mean i don't think questy h plays this i think it's the bad demon hunter card you know why this is a bad demon hunter card because it doesn't complete your quest by adding more shit to your hand it completes the quest but you don't get cards instead of just playing like a sigil like a three mana sigil and then i just get my quest complete next turn and i also get to draw three what why why would i ever do that it's terrible terrible demon hunter card there there is something cute you can do i will say that okay here's the idea you're, you're playing questline demon hunter all right you you go um Ran into Gaslight Gatekeeper. Okay, you have a big hand, right? You have like nine cards. You go Bran into Gaslight Gatekeeper. You've drawn like 16 cards that turn. And that's when you get him. Then you mind bender him. You hit him with a three mana mind bender. Bam! And that's how we win. Or you can also have Lion Frenzy equipped, right? It's actually like pretty insane damage with this, right? I don't know. It's kind of fun. I'm going to give it a one though. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw that out there though. Uh, you know, it's a deck for like Ruffle and Mark. They can they can go kill people. But I'll give it a one. It's cute though. Uh, mechanically, like as a card, it's cute. Uh, moving on. Gattle Snake. At the end of your turn, load two bullets that deal one damage each. Death Rattle, fire at random enemies. What if it lives? And it deals four damage randomly. And what if it lives again? It deals six damage randomly. And what if I stop coping and trying to bait chat? Alright, moving on. High Noon Duelist. Dude, I'm really liking the um, the flavor on these cards, actually. Serpent Bloom? Whoa, go back. Does Serpent Bloom end it? No. Um, High Noon Duelist. Death Rattle. Both players draw. Destroy. <laughs> both players draw. Uh, destroy the card that costs less. Death Rattle. It could be good. It's could be, it could be good. It's good, right? It's disruption. It's it's disruption. It's um it's it's like it's it's neat because it, it, it's um uh all right. Chat voted ninety percent for a one. All right. <laughs> Horseshoe slinger, slinger. Uh, three mana two two. Battle cry deal two damage to a random enemy. Quick draw. Pew pew. Um, and one of its neighbors. Do I even wait for the poll? Can we just... Can I just move on? God damn it, Ogre. Uh, Line Dance Partner. 3 mana 3, 3. Battle Cry, if you're holding another 3 cost card, summon a random 3 cost minion. These arena cards are getting kind of insane. Also, what's the flavor on this? If you already have a partner, you get another partner? Alright, you guys voted 1. Alright, Ogre Gang Outlaw. Do you guys like Ogre or do you guys hate Ogre? Gang. Ogre Gang, 3 mana 4 4. Rush, 50% chance to attack the wrong enemy. Well, Ogre cards have historically been very powerful and strong and impressive and handsome and smart, as far as I know. I think it's mediocre. Mm. A lot of 4s out there. That's what I like to see. Ogre, I'm starting to think you have too much control of this channel. <laughs> 50% chance to vote for the wrong rating. Oh, fuck. That's good. Um, speaking of which, uh, perfect four from chat. Love that. All right, it's a four. It's a four. Chat says it's a four. I'm going to give it a one. I'm, personally, I'm going to give it a one. Uh, but chat disagrees. Perfect four. <clears throat> As a right chain gang, four mana, two, three, taunt, battle cry, and quick draw summon a copy of this. Strictly better top deck chain gang. Better version of a bad card is probably still a bad card, right? I mean, I think it's a bad card. I'm gonna give it a one. Don't tell the rest of the chat, though. They haven't finished with their poll. Actually, what about Stolen Goods as a six drop? Six mana, get three, four, five taunts. That might end it. If the year was 2016. Alright, you guys gave it a two? Damn, I'm giving it a hard one. <laughs> okay, you guys are getting too optimistic, all right? You guys are getting lost in the weeds. Remember that we're killing people on turn three in wild. Um, dang blasted elemental. <laughs> Four mana three three. 
Uh, so death rattle deal two damage to all minions except friendly elementals. Yo, more elemental support. Let's go. Let's go. So I guess like compared to like Prison Breaker, right? So so it's Prison Breaker, but it has taunt. But um, it can also hit your minions that aren't elementals. And it has one one less stats. And it only deals two damage. It doesn't go phase. <laughs> Dagnab in dang blast in root in toot in high for loot and elemental. Damn, did you name the Oh no wait, that was the flavor text. <laughs> I was like, did you name the next card? Uh you guys voted a one, eighty five percent. Good job. It's a one. Thank you for the hundred biddies though, Ogre. The dang nab and dang blast and root and toot and high and elemental. Ogre gang that's your reward. Uh Ogre Gang Rider. Rush. 4 mana, 3, 6. 50% chance to give your hero plus 3 attack this turn instead of attacking. Perhaps insane quest druid support? Am I right, guys? Poor donkey. Why are you riding donkey, man? Look at the weight on that thing. It's just being worked to the ground. How is it standing? Ogre Gang Rise Up. We will not be oppressed anymore. I'll vote one to try and swing it. Did we swing the vote? Oh, we get there with one vote. I mean, you guys got there with one vote. The ones have it. In chat, and only in chat, and not me. Uh, well done, chat. It is indeed a one. Um, rowdy partner. Oh, I get it. Like, howdy partner. Uh, oh, that's, that's good. If you're holding another. If, they're, if she's literally holding another four cost. <laughs> that's good. God damn, that is some good flavor. One star. Sheriff Bal Barrel Brim. What a ridiculous looking ha hat. Four mana, four, four. Battle Cry, uh, if you have 20 or less health, open the Badlands Jail. This is where I'm going to send Ogre after the stream. Uh, four mana, three location. Make a minion go dormant for three turns. I'm kind of going to give it a one. But it's like... It's like a high one. It's like a 1.45. You know what I mean? Like, it's not the worst Hearthstone card of all time. Wouldn't play an even Warlock. What about even Reno Warlock? No, like, I wouldn't play an even Warlock. Even Reno Warlock? Maybe? I don't know. I'm still going to give it a 1. Uh, chat, you guys voted 2, right? I think I think you guys voted a 2. Alright, Snake Oil Seller. Uh, 4 mana, 4, 5, Naga. God damn it, Ogre. Uh, Death Rattle, shuffle two tradable snake oils into... I said god damn it, Ogre, before I even looked at your chat message. I, I, I fucking knew. Um, Death Rattle, shuffle two tradable snake oils into your opponent's deck. <laughs> it, this, this is going in the, um, the Bad Luck Albatross snake oil seller, uh, Weasel Nazoth Priest. Do I hear a yes or yes? Uh, chat says it's a one. <laughs> Alright, 64% of people said one. And 24% of people said ten for the art. That's the exact breakdown that I was expecting. Borrow Buster. Uh, Rush, Battle Cry, Excavator, Treasure. We already went through the Excavate cards. Why does it not show all the Excavate cards? Alright, you guys have voted a one. I have no words for this card. Like, yeah, that's that's whatever. Battle cry, draw a beast. It costs three less. All right, you know what you have to do. Tight minion has beast mana. Pff, fuck it, nine and up. Is there anything? Is there anything? Yo, yo. Wait, that's actually not bad, right? If you're playing a Treant deck, you only need six Treants to die by turn five. That's actually not awful, right? Five mana, eight, eight rush, and a three, four. Wait, what about Shock Spitter? But maybe once they unnerf Shock Spitter, we can have a turn six OTK in 2024. <laughs> Which sounds so strong. <laughs> if the if the shock spitter goes to two, then it's bad. If the shock spitter goes to three, then it might actually not be that bad. Because then you could brand shock shock on turn six. And that, that feels like an important breakpoint, right? But I mean, it's still like a turn six deck. Like, that's still useless. 
They need to put Shockspin at a two, man. Just bring it back at two. Just bring it back. Come on, just do it, you cowards. Do it. I'm gonna give the card a one. Uh, Chad also voted a one, I think. I didn't actually look. I just have to assume you guys voted a one. Five out of five for uh, Rush. Whenever this attacks, gain Divine Shield. 50% chance to gain Lifesteal instead. Holy shit, that's a bad flip. Auto four. It's an Ogre card. All right, chat says 10 for the art. No way, you guys voted four. Kingpin Pud. Is it Pud or Pud? <laughs> Either way, I'm not intimidated. Kid Putty. What do you got for us? Resurrect your Ogre Gang. Give them Wind Fury. Kind of insane stats, right? All right, we're voting at a, voting at a four. All right, Sunspot Dragon. Six mana, six, six, tradable, lifesteal, quick draw, deal six. Whoa! Insane in 2022 Ignite Mage. Absolutely cracked. All right, you guys gave it a one. I'm also giving it a one. Um, Azerite Giant. <sighs> eight mana, eight, eight. Uh, costs one less for each turn in a row that you've played in Elemental. So turn six, you got yourself a nice... Two mana eight eight, yo. Turn four, turn five, turn five. Turn five, it's a three mana eight eight. Two less for each turn. Now that'd be insane. That'd make it zero mana eight eight on turn four. And nobody's ever played a zero mana eight eight on turn four. Alright, you guys voted a one. Ninety-three percent of you said one. You guys hate elementals more than I do. Jesus. Thunderbringer, 8 mana, 6-6, six, six, Taunt, Death Rattle, Summon an Elemental and Beast from your deck. Guys, this is like good in Big Shaman. Did you try it out in Big Shaman? Oh, God, no, I didn't actually try the deck. No, 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 I'm speaking purely theoretically. <laughs> um, okay, you think it sucks, do you? I mean, I think a big part of why it sucks right now is because yogg exists. So, like, you play this, and they steal it, and then you literally slam your monitor, and you just question what the hell happened. Um, but if Yogg isn't real, it can summon itself, or it can summon Nep, or it can summon Glug. Isn't that, like, good? I mean, Fish says that Fish played games, and it sucked. Personally, I'm gonna go with my zero games experience. <laughs> and say that it's good. <laughs> And I'm going to give it a two. <laughs> uh, believe in yourself, chat. The world's against you. you got to be against the world. Um, all right. That's it. That's the neutrals. What do we think? There we have it. There we have the review. With chat and Corb, I think we disagreed on a couple cards. Uh, the Ogre Gang. But other than that, mostly on the same page, which bodes terribly for me. Unlucky. <laughs>